This is English paper piecing with hexagonal shapes. Now I'm choosing where to cut out the hexagons on my fabric, what part I want. So if I want to have this Hogwarts symbol, I can put my hexagon there and then cut out around it with a generous seam allowance. I might want to choose the school so I can put my hexagon up there, making sure that I leave enough seam allowance when I'm cutting out. On this fabric, you can see the pattern through from the other side, which is handy. So I'm going to choose there. It's up to you how you line up your, your pattern with your hexagons. And you'll see how it works out in your final project. On this one, I've got the school and the H for Harry and the school again, all going the same way. But the individual pictures, I've chosen to put them on angles. As I said, it's up to you how you want your pattern to appear. This is going to be a small pin cushion. It can be for badges. So these will all be joined. And it will <laughs> it's hard to show what it will look like when it's finished but gives you a little bit of an idea before I start cutting I'm going to pin my hexagon in place I only need one pin yeah normally I would be using large good quality fabric scissors but today I've just got my little embroidery scissors So in this instance, yes, it is a case of do what I say, not what I do. Having fun trying to remember to keep this right under the camera all the time. I'm definitely not used to filming. So that's got a very generous seam allowance around it. I'm not the most precise of people. But it does the trick. So there is a hexi cutout. I like to cut out lots of hexes first and do the tacking around them before I place them to work out how they're going to be in the final project. <laughs> 